It's not surprising if someone from the other side is summoned by a deck of playing cards. In one way or another, playing cards have always been linked to the other side. In the 13 or 1400s, when playing cards evolved in the form we know them today, they weren't used for cheating a poker or doing bar mitzvah gigs. They were used for fortune telling and to foresee the future, to communicate with the spirits. You see, it was believed that the spirits could see into the future and everybody wanted to know what was going to happen tomorrow. It was believed that once you die and crossed over, you were beyond time. And as a result, you could see the entire spectrum, the past, the present, and the future. And in every civilization, fortunately, there were people who claimed they could communicate with the dead. From the ancient oracles in Greece, to the tribal witch doctors and medicine men, to the medieval wizards and modern day mediums. And all any of these people had to do to talk to the spirits was conjure them up. Which is why in the medieval times, the court wizards became known as conjurers. Today, people don't use playing cards if they want to see the future. They keep their assignments in their smartphones, their iPads. I am a little different. I'm old school. I have a pocket calendar. And I've done something a little different with my date book um, to tie it in with the old wizard's deck. I've written the name of one card and one card only under the name of each day of the year. Here, take a look. There are only 52 cards in a deck. There are 365 days in a year, 366, because that's a leap year calendar. So of necessity, some of the cards are repeated, but I think you'll see it's a pretty random mix throughout. Now the question is, is it possible that the spirits can influence us even when we don't know it? Is it possible that one of them was telling me which cards to put in each day, even though I thought it was a free choice. <coughs> Let's test that, shall we? Would you be willing to help me from right where you are? Sure. Right where you are. Oh. My name's Tom, what's yours? Juana. Lena? Juana. Oh, pardon? Juana. Juana, I'm sorry. Acoustics. <laughs> Juana, um, I'd like you to to think about someone who was close to you, but someone who has passed on. A family member or a friend. I'm going to ask you a few questions about the person, but nothing too personal, I assure you, because we're in a room of strangers. Uh, what would that person's name be? First name is fine. Rosalia. Rosalia. And what was your relationship to Rosalia? Oh, your grandmother. Now, I want you to think of a date, not the year, but the month and day, a date that was important to Rosalia. Now, if you happen to know the date she passed, that usually makes the strongest connection, but I'm sure from birthday cards over the years, you remember her birthday, or maybe a day that was important just to the two of you, some time you spent together, and if nothing else comes to mind, we can always go with her favorite holiday. A date that was a special to her dear. Do you have one in your mind? I'd like you to take my date book, go through and find that date in the calendar, and see what the playing card is that's written in that date. Now while she's doing that, I should explain. It's been my discovery during my research that Spirits tend to materialize most often on the anniversaries of dates that were important to them while they were alive. And even if they don't actually materialize, the, it seems the veil between the two worlds, the spirit world and those they've left behind, is closest on that day. What date are you thinking of? April, uh, April 7th. April 7th. And what card is on that date? Three of hearts. Now I want you to look at the day before, look at the day after, make sure that they're different cards. Maybe turn the page, make sure that they're different the next day. Uh, that they're not all the, what was the card again? Three of hearts. Three of hearts. 
Now, before you came today, you didn't know that I'd be asking you to uh, assist in a demonstration. You didn't know that I'd be asking about your grandmother, Rosalia. You certainly didn't know that you would be choosing, what, the, the three of hearts? But you didn't choose the three of hearts. Rosalia chose the three of hearts. You know, it's not surprising that someone from the other side is summoned by a deck of playing cards. In one form or another, playing cards have always been associated with the spirit world. 